Hi viewers, I'm out today and I'm going to get some drone footage of something special so I'm going to make a little vlog of the adventure of going out to get the drone footage and I hope you all like this little vlog so I'm walking along the walker track uh, obviously there used to be a train line here a long time ago which used to service uh, the walker line from Newcastle to Tynemouth um, it's all pathway now but there's a lot of remnants of the old railway such as this and I'm just heading along to a roughly about where Walls End is because I'm going to grab the drone footage from around that area and you'll see why um, I will include some of that drone footage in this video but that footage is going to be used for another video for one of my History of the North videos so anyone in the comments uh, have a guess at what that drone footage is going to be used for anyways enjoy the video So here's quite a big bridge. some very heavy wind but I'm still gonna fly my drone I'm just gonna be very careful because uh, I don't want to send it too far in case it fights against the wind to get back usually it's quite good in the wind um, but it is very windy today Hell 
we're almost at my destination now. So I'm gonna get ready to get the drone out. But not just yet. Check this out. that viewers is for another video I'm sorry <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that vlog everyone. Um, I was just out recording some video and getting some drone footage for some of the History of the North videos that are coming soon. As you can probably guess by this vlog, and if you're local and you know the area, you know what those videos are going to be about. And I'm really excited for them. But of course, it's a big part of the History of the North and the History of the Tyne that I include these areas and the stories of these places into my History of the North Season 1 River Tyne uh, episodes. So that's all to come. Didn't really get all of the footage that I wanted just for the fact that uh, the drone was really struggling in the air, especially at a higher altitude. Um, so I did get some really good footage though, which you'll have already seen. I would just like to say, so as this is a channel dedicated to showcasing the vibrant culture and the history of the Tyne region, as the holiday season approaches, I wanted to take a moment to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. Whether you're celebrating with family and friends or taking some time for yourself, I hope that you have a wonderful and joyful holiday season. The Tyne region is known for its rich history, diverse culture and friendly community and we're all proud to be a part of it. And as I look back on the past year, I'm grateful for all the support and engagement I've received from our viewers and yourselves and our subscribers. So a huge thank you. So from myself here at Living on the Tyne, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I hope that you have a safe and enjoyable holiday season. I look forward to bringing you more content in the coming year and here's a sneak preview of the next video. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.